Hi everyone, so I am super excited to unbox this. I pre-ordered it on Amazon, link will be below. Let's get into it. Okay, so right off the box is very nice. It's not too big, not too small. Hard box. And it has like some gold on it that shines. And if you notice too, it is a Wizarding, Wizarding World product, so it is licensed. Okay, so inside it comes in a bag. I haven't opened it yet, so exciting. Okay, nothing on the bottom, which is kind of sad. They could have used that for something. Here's the guidebook. And it is in color. All right, here's the bag. It has kind of like a cheap velvety feel. I mean, I'm not saying that to be mean, it just does. Um, and then this looks like it was maybe stamped or something. It's kind of rough where the ink is. Okay, so here is the deck. So it's not edged. If you like to do mods, you could definitely do that. And now I will go through the cards. Oh, okay. All right, so it looks like they've got certain categories. And then on the back of them, it's got information about how it was used in Harry Potter and something for you to think about, like this one's about polyjuice. If you could take a polyjuice potion, who would you turn into? What about that person or their life would you like to experience? Okay, I really like this because it would be great for like shadow work or journaling of some sort. Shadow work journaling, really. Okay, so, ooh, excited about that. I honestly didn't know what to expect with this deck. Um, it was just Harry Potter and an Oracle type of deck, and, you know, I was sold. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to sort these real quick and then um, talk about each one. There are quite a few categories. So we've got Flights of Fancy, which includes, and I'm probably not going to say these all correctly, but I'm going to try, <laughs> Felix Felicis, also known as Liquid Luck. Spells, Sorcerer Stone, Triwizard Tournament, Time Turner, Animagus, Polyjuice Potion, and Room of Requirement. Next, we've got the Resistance category which includes Daily Prophet, Dumbledore's Army, being placed on trial, the incidents with the fireworks, rule breaking, Professor Umbridge, ugh, hated her. She's like one of the biggest villains of all time in any series. I'll fight you if you think differently. Freeing House Elves, Dobby is one of the best characters in the series. And Prejudice, as seen in Harry Potter. All right, next is Experiencing Loss. This is Loss of um, Professor Snape. Loss of Sirius. 
lashing out after a loss. Oh, Hedwig. Things we've lost returning to us. Knowing loved ones are still with you. Ooh, people who live without love. That is such a powerful quote in the book. Do not pity the dead, Harry. Pity the living, and above all, those who live without love. Trying to bring back the dead. Next category is personal growth. Harry's journey of personal growth. Don't forget to only live in daydreams. You need to grow in real life as well. Knowing where your true home is. Knowing we all start as students or beginners and growing from there. One of the many reasons I love Hermione, she loves her books. Neville's growth. Knowing that the right path isn't always the easy path. Knowing that believing in yourself is important. Next section is battling our fears. Your own personal struggle, like Professor Lupin battling his being a werewolf. Knowing that accepting your friend's help will help you greatly and doing things on your own isn't always the best way to go. Mm. Obliviate. So people don't remember something. That would be very powerful. But would be used at great cost. The Horcrux of the Locket and how it affects your insecurities, like how it did with Ron. Another fabulous quote here. But you know, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Knowing that words matter, both good and bad. Bogarts, ooh, what would yours be? And your Patronus, what would it be, you think? It's kind of like a spirit animal, right? Next category is values and beliefs. Knowing that people, even from different backgrounds, are still people and we can work together. Would you break the most powerful weapon so that nobody could use it? Or would you keep it for yourself? Harry made that choice with the Elder Wand. Draco, part of an ancient family of wizards, started to question his upbringing and beliefs when he was forced to do the unthinkable. Oh, the Weasleys, love them. Like totally, I wish I was a part of that family. They're so loving. Ooh, the Grimm and the tea leaves. Do you believe any superstitions like that? Ooh, love potions. Would you use one or not? Gilderoy Lockhart, such a freaking joke. <laughs> I mean, he really created his own fame. Which leaves you wondering about fame, doesn't it? The Mirror of Eriside. If you had the opportunity to view into it, would you? And what do you think you would see? Next category is relationships. Dumbledore as Harry's mentor. Peter Pettigrew and his huge betrayal this secret keeper type of a spell. Moving portraits, which is super cool and also not exactly like the ones that are the paintings in the Hogwarts, but more of like the one of his family that moves. We have that now, which is really cool because when it first came out, you know, we didn't really have that. And now you can put that on, you know, electronic photos in your home. So who knows what else could come about soon? What do you think? Oh, friends that don't always start out as friendships. Poor Hermione. They thought she was all bossy and 
a know-it-all, which she kind of was, but I mean, the boys were, they, they definitely needed her. <laughs> Standing up to your friends and how brave that can really be. Ron being super jealous of Harry when he was chosen for the Triwizard Tournament. Knowing that even in dark times, you have friends and you can call on them in your time of need. Last section is on identity. What are your strengths? This scene encourages you that even if you don't think it's something that you're that good at, you might actually be really great at it. Our choices matter greatly. What was the last big choice that you made in your life? Ooh, this is an interesting one. Which Hogwarts house do you least associate with? And what do you think it says about you? I'm a Ravenclaw. And I would say my least is probably Hufflepuff. Those moments when we don't act our best doesn't really mean that we're becoming a bad person. But we made maybe, you know, a bad choice. The Chosen One. Probably not a title that Harry wanted, but he ended up with. Think about which character in Harry Potter do you resonate most with and why? We've all got light and dark in us, so what matters is choosing which one we act upon more. And if you could attend Hogwarts, or maybe you did, which house were you sorted into? I am definitely a Ravenclaw. Okay, so as I said, I had really no idea what to expect with this deck. Um, I got it because it was Harry Potter. But I'm very glad that I did. And I'm excited to use this as part of my shadow work. And it is very affordable. I'll post the you know Amazon referral link below. I don't get that much for it, just, you know little bit you can use it or not just search for it um let's see how it shuffles oh it's kind of big to do riffle shuffling which is my primary way to shuffle okay oh geez ah oh move Hermione all right My hands are not big enough to do it that well, but you know, you could spread them out. You could do the overhand shuffle, lots of different methods, or, you know, just blindly choose one. Let's see, this is the one I should work on, right? Okay, so I like this deck and I really do hope that they come out with a Harry Potter licensed tarot deck. That would be freaking amazing but until then I've got this to work on with my shadow work so I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you like it please do like and subscribe and I will be posting more similar and pick a cards as well so I hope you have a wonderful day and stop by again soon bye